February 8, 1922, night. During my interrogation, it became apparent that the FBI has been watching Intima for some time. Mikey was the bureau's inside man, now he's missing as well. Hoover and his boys are going to mount a raid on the marsh refinery, and I'm invited whether I want to go or not. As if I haven't been through enough in the last 24 hours. I try to tell Hoover what's waiting for them in that refinery, what's lurking beneath the surface of the town, but he didn't believe me. I can't say I'm surprised, I won't believe me either if I haven't seen it for myself, and Hoover hasn't seen what I've seen. From the questions Hoover asked me, the Bureau knows n next to nothing about Dinsmuff or the refinery, even though the FBI has been watching Dinsmuff for some time. That's not surprising since it's cut itself off from the outside world more than 50 years ago and no one, no one outside of Vinsmov has been inside the, the refinery since then. I guess Mackie didn't tell him much, or he didn't believe Mackie any more than he believed me. Hoover thinks the old gold refinery is the main source of wealth for the Marsh family and as a base for some kind of criminal gang. He figures that a lot more gold comes out of the mill than possibly uh, from the amounts of raw ore they buy, and he wants to know why. I guess I thought things were pretty simple too when I first came to Innsmouth. Now I envy him his ignorance. It must have been a sight when they found me. They certainly loaded me with sedatives. They've almost worn off now, but I'm feeling drained. I wish I could blame the drugs for the dreams I had while I was out, but they were just like the dreams from the other night at the Gilman Hotel. The dreams came on getting clearer, more like memories, and getting fleeing images of other things too. They just seemed to pop up from somewhere in my mind for no apparent reason. I have no idea what they mean, except that I need to keep a grip on myself. I don't want to return trip to the Arkham Asylum. The raid is set for tomorrow. I'd give anything to avoid going back to that town. The feds handed me back Ruth's brush, which they found in the wreckage of the car crash. Another painful memory. Really, guys? Look here, Walters. Your profile shows that you're a man to be trusted even allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. I don't give a shit anymore, Hoover. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay! On the roof! Sustain your fire! I'll just sit here if you don't Take mind. Uh, oh, there's a sm some smokes. That's pretty good. That's the ticket. Hold your fire, Cooper. Get those damn doors open. <sighs> no, wait, Cooper. Completely fucking useless. After a good heart procedure you've done with me, that's really great. Remind me to kick your ass afterwards. Not gonna do it now because we need every alive possible. Just give me a gun. gunner is too hold in. None of us can make a clean shot. For God's sake, Uber, get your men out of there. They're sitting ducks. 
Nonsense. We'll lay down some covering fire. You get your ass up there and show us what you can do. What? You heard me. Now go! The bay doors are getting too much protection. The area is clear. We're down. Stop shooting me. There's nothing to target. Unfortunately, I... I had a target. Okay, Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on. Let's take a look around. Can I actually shoot him? I want to shoot him. It's probably going to be a mission fail, but... Uh, the temptation is so strong. Ooh. Talking about temptation. What the hell? What happened down there, Agent? Did you find Marsh? What are you staring at, Jack? He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. The power's been cut from the elevator. It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor. That would be so simple. Don't move, stranger! Don't let her get away! What now? I heard you, pal. You can come out, it almost won't hurt. You only get a slight headache. Son of a bitch. to avoid bullets like that. Turning that pressure release valve seems to have rerouted the steam. His body's been burned to a crisp. I better watch my step. This refinery's a death trap. You there, hold it. Come here, friend. It's locked. Quite detailed uh, refinery we got here. It's definitely above half-life level. <laughs> Keep clear. All right.
please don't make this running. It will only kill my time. Fallen into the ore grinder or been pushed. Jokes aside, that's fucking creepy death if you ask me. Well, let's hope this thing would work. Imagine going all this way down. Stop right there, Marsh. Goodbye, Mr. Walters. You kill me. Shit. Think over, think over. It's gotta be a way. Marsha boy. Shit, I we need him alive. Yeah, keep running. Whoa. Fuck. Who's that? So fucked up, guys. Aha, this must be the main generator for the elevator. This should get the elevator running again. This must be the Marsh family office. from Sebastian Marsh. My dear family, I expect to return home shortly. I look forward to seeing you all again. I believe my trip has been a fruitful one. I have met with many potential buyers for our product and, as I predicted, met with few concerns. All are aware that history is written by the victor and that treaties and laws must bow to the fact of conquest. And what, indeed, is so moral about a bullet or a bomb that sets them above other means of death? I shall speak with you all further upon my return. I shall have much to say to Robert. In particular, it is of the utmost importance that our personal beliefs and agendas remain subordinate to the overall good of the family and the town. 
As the time draws ever closer, it becomes more imperative that they act as one. If he is unwilling to do so, he must be compelled for our own sakes. In particular, he must remove his beast to another part of the refinery without delay. Beast? Huh. My love and blessings are upon you all. Aya Dagon, Aya Hydra, Aya Aya Sebastian. Who was there? Was it Marsh? 